At dawn we paint. At 9.17 we paint. <laughs> I am so excited to start renovating slash interior decorating the rooms in this house that I could just put it off indefinitely. Honestly, the more excited I am about something, the more ideas I tend to have for it, which means the more overwhelmed I am by all of those ideas and the more likely I am to just keep saying, I'll do that later when I'm certain of what I want and I'm fully prepared. But the thing is, I am certain of what I want and I am fully prepared. Headbands do not like to stay on my head. I apparently have a very slippery skull. I even made coveralls last week, so I really have no further excuse for delay. So here's the plan. Thanks to the purchase of one very large carousel-themed rocking horse via Facebook Marketplace. Say hello, cantaloupe. I've decided that my studio shall be lightly Jolly Holiday from Mary Poppins themed. I have a lot of ideas, as aforementioned. So I'm gonna be doing the studio in chunks or chunks. Chunk number one is getting the whole thing painted. It just needs a base layer of paint over the entire thing to cover all of the blecky areas like that and make it look nice. But also we must add whimsy. So I am gonna paint clouds on the ceiling so that it looks like I am outside having a jolly holiday with my sentient carousel horse, as you do. I'm not good at painting. Like let's preface the entire series of home renovations that are coming this year with that understanding. Color theory, lighting, shadow, depth, like these are all things that my brain does not really get. So my goal is to use tricks to fool people and myself into thinking I can paint. The trick in this case is that I don't want like an epic sunrise realistic cloudscape. Like look up ceiling clouds or clouds on ceilings online and you will find some absolutely gorgeous examples. But I'm specifically trying to get the feel of an animated sequence from 1964. If you look at the clouds in the background of this segment of Mary Poppins, they're simple. They're just white. They are basic bitches. And I can do basic. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves because we have a lot to do before clouds enter the picture. First up, I gotta get most of this out of here. I can't even just pull it all to the center because, you know, I gotta paint the whole ceiling. This was part of the reason for the delay, let's be honest. I should probably also vacuum the last several projects off the floor while I'm at it. Matt has conveniently chosen this week to be very busy at work. Not that he has any control over that. So I'm on my own. Girl power. <sighs> but the helpful thing is that when I put everything back in after painting, I will be able to, because for some reason I've convinced myself that I wasn't able to until now, clean all of this up. I don't actually like existing in this state. It just sort of happened. And then it was too hard to undo it. And now, The Stitchery presents Death to All Vacuums, starring the fiercest of small boys, Link. He spins, he lunges, he dodges and parries. He's really letting that vacuum know who's boss here. And in a final show of glory, he lets out the most ferocious of woofs ever heard. <laughs> The vacuum wisely retreats to its closet, humiliated in its defeat. Here we go, kids. This is not my first time moving this by myself. Leverage. Your legs are stronger than your arms, in most cases. And if you're flexible, you can make that work for you. That'll do. And with that, tis time for a lunch break. Now what? 
So we've discovered since moving in here that a lot of the, hi, hello, a lot of the, um, I guess I would say facade level alterations that have been done to this house have been done so rather cheaply and poorly. Here's a great example of it. They just painted straight over all the plates. Also, I am now noticing for the first time that they clearly painted over the baseboards with this green and then just layered on a whole bunch of white to try to cover it, only they didn't. And now all that layer of white is peeling off. And uh, there's a big crack between the wall and the baseboards, which is kind of making me think I should just rip them off and get new baseboards. You know, now's the time. Is this another reason that I was putting off doing this? Cause I'm afraid it's gonna turn into a bigger thing full of things that I don't know how to do. And I'm gonna have to learn to do some new stuff. Yeah, just a little. 20 minutes later. So I have gotten this far, which in layman's terms is, I believe, called past the point of no return. <sighs> Do I immediately just want to call up our contractor? Yeah, I'm not gonna, but it's tempting. This is turning into a whole thing. I just wanted to paint clouds on my ceiling. I just wanted to paint some clouds. But like, this is the first step of having a nice studio and I don't want to blaze through it and just do the quick and easy and cute things that you can see from a distance. I need to actually put some effort into this room so that it will be nice for a while. So we're committing. I'm committing. Let's do the boring, ugly, hard, messy stuff. Yay. <laughs> Tomorrow. Hi, bud. We will get to painting soon, I promise. But I keep getting more and more ideas for this room for what I need to fix as I start looking really closely at stuff and realize that like, it's not that bad, but it's also not great. And now would be the better time to replace it rather than later. Oh, what a nice boy you are. But everything starts with a lot of destruction. So I am like desperately feeling a need right now for someone to give me permission to do this. Oh, I can't sit like that. I mean, permission probably isn't the right word, but I think I just need somebody to be like, it'll be okay, go for it. Can you be that person? Cause when it comes to sewing, that person is me. I am all about getting a $1 bed sheet at Goodwill and just going for it. Wing it, give it a try. That is kind of the whole philosophy of this channel. Uh, but unfortunately we are just a little bit short on $1 houses where I can practice my DIY home renovations. So that spirit is retreating to the deep dark recesses of my soul. But I'm going to go grab a flashlight and some rope, I guess. Rope seems helpful. And I'm going to hunt that spirit down and I'm going to drag them out of the dark recesses of my soul because I am going to do it. I'm gonna go for it. I am gonna rip out all of the trim in this room and then we're gonna paint. Y'all, if you remove the nice, neat trim from a room, suddenly it's like, oh dang, that's not very nice underneath, which I suppose shouldn't have been a surprise to me, but also for some reason it kind of was. Found lots of dead spiders, some poo of smallish size. <laughs> what a delight. Why is there so much poo? But we are gonna gloss through this prep work pretty fast, not only because this video was supposed to be about painting, but also because I am not a safe 
person. I'm not really sure why, but from a very young age, I have just had very little regard for personal safety. So whatever amount of safety measures I applied while doing all of this stuff, it's safe to assume that it was not industry standard. And while the worst injury I've sustained on this project so far came from a rogue measuring tape, I'd hate for anyone watching to think that they should do as I do and succumb to a worse fate. Don't do as I do when it comes to, um, anything lightly dangerous. At last was time for the absolute worst part, cleaning the walls. My lack of arm strength is not exactly boding well for the ceiling painting that's gonna be happening tomorrow. Then I could vacuum the carpet and lay plastic down over every single bit. Super easy to do when there's no baseboards cause you can just use the um, uh, scraper thing that thing, to shove the edges of the drop cloths into the space between the wall and the carpet. Can we paint now? Yes, we can. There are still like two big drywall patches low down that are drying, but I think I can go ahead and get a first coat on the ceiling and I can maybe go around and do like the trim, I guess. All the trim is gone, but I can do around all of the windows and doors so that it's ready to roll doing all the motions today. Y'all, I did not test this paint at all. I just looked at a sample and went with it. Is it gonna be too bright? Is it gonna be too much? Is it gonna be too light? I don't know. I believe it was called Bright and Breezy. I mean, it's pretty, right? Very blue skies. I think the feeling I keep having with this whole thing is like, where is the adult supervision? I am the adult supervision. But you know what? Maybe that's because the last time I did any form of like home renovation was in high school. So my brain is just going back to that time. Wanting somebody who theoretically has more experience to tell me what I should be doing. But it's me. I don't have the experience, but I'm in charge. And already messy. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get a crick in my neck. This is gonna be exhausting. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Or everything. This is a bad position. But I do like the color so far. Y'all, that was about 12 times more exhausting than I expected it to be. And I expected it to be pretty exhausting, so that's saying a lot. Pardon me while I die. <sighs> and theoretically, I have to do this all again because it needs a second coat. But also, does it need a second coat? Does it really? Is my sweat delicious? Were you so helpful this whole time? just whining at me and running in and out. Way too much attention given to the ceiling. Not enough attention given to puppies. I'm gonna go soak my hands. <gasps> okay, so I took a little break, ate some lunch, and then I have painted all of the trim, the corners, everything that I need to paint with a paintbrush, which was just so much more relaxing. I figure if I can get a first coat on most of the walls and maybe just not do the one that is still drying, then I can quit for the day and go shower and do other stuff. Cause I am sweaty. To the window, to the wall. Until the sweat drips off all of my body. I have quickly discovered that I absolutely hate paint rollers. Cause of that. Um, hi, I think we're having an earthquake right now. Dude, that was a pretty long one. Okay, that was, whew, that was a thing. Moving on, paint rollers. 
I don't like them. Dude, I thought at first that I was shaking the house because I was pushing on the wall. And then I was like, why am I making the entire house shake by doing this? What is wrong with this wall? But then I looked out and the whole pool was shaking too. Good times. Welcome to California. We have earthquakes. Just move the whole body instead of the arms. That's what you do when you start to get tired. Shall I go low or go high? Let's go high. Mm. Nope, let's go low. This may come as a surprise to some people, but I'm not actually very good at trusting the process. I think people assume that the winging it philosophy that I always have just kind of goes hand in hand with trusting the process but they're like sister philosophies, not twins. Or maybe cousins, not sisters. You can have one and not the other. Which is why quite often when it comes to sewing, I'll like randomly finish edges that don't really need to be finished at that point. And like, I can't really set aside a garment and then just come back to it later. Once I get it started, I need to finish it. I can quit and decide I'm not gonna finish it at all, but I can't just like, put it in a cabinet and be like, oh, I'll, I'll do that two months from now. I need to finish it and know that it's okay or that it isn't. And that is definitely coming into play with all of this stuff, kind of even more so. Since the moment I started at like every step along the way, I wanted to vacuum the floor so badly. And then I was like, you're about to sand more stuff. You're about to scrape more stuff off the wall. You are about to cover the carpet in way more gunk. You don't need to vacuum it right now. And like, I know that the trim that I ripped off this window and the doors and everything, it's probably gonna be like a couple weeks before I have that fully done. And that's gonna be hard for me to just see it not finished like that and trust that I will be able to finish it and it will all be okay. I need this done in the next 24 hours so that my brain can have peace. But that's not how it works. So my brain will not have peace. And this is also why I split up my studio project into several very definite chunks because I knew that the entire thing would take probably a really long time and I really need those like finishing moments. So by splitting it up, I can finish a chunk and my brain will rest a little bit and let me do other things. And then I can come back and do another chunk. Forever figuring out what works for my brain. Oh, sorry. One little chunk of wall done, uh, 22 more to go. So uh, this is happening now. Don't really know what's up with that. Like it's peeling off. Oh, it's peeling off the green paint from underneath. Why is this happening? But yeah, now I get to figure this out. Cool. So this is where we've landed. Big old chunk here, big old chunk here. No idea what's causing this. I'm about to go look it up, but I was jamming the putty knife all around the edges and there were places that very easily wanted to peel off and then there were places that didn't so that's what i've kind of finished here all of these edges i have hit with the putty knife and they didn't peel off and i also went back and checked everything else that i've painted and i didn't see any other place where it was forming bubbles or starting to peel off like these two sections were but yeah that's lightly depressing and annoying and kind of making me want to quit for the day also i just looked closely at the ceiling and I'm pretty sure I need to do a second coat. Not really because the white is showing through the paint, but because I didn't actually get every single little bit. So much trotty paws on plastic. What you doing over there, sir? Just walking around making as much noise as possible. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go be sad about that and stop for the day. <laughs> Yay. Two hours later. Well, y'all, I got past my annoyance and I painted the whole room, except for the little thing that's drying over there and the giant patches, which I will worry about tomorrow. But I was talking to my sister and she was like, your hand should not hurt that much. You're not putting enough paint on the roller. But I watched a video 
that said, resist the urge to overload your roller with paint, and I took that very literally, and I resisted the urge. And as such, I had to put so much pressure on the roller to get the paint onto the wall and the ceiling. Hi, bud, do you wanna come here? Oh. Oh my goodness, y'all, though, I love it. It's the perfect color. I feel like I am enveloped by the sky right now, and it's making me so happy. <sighs> That green that was in here, honestly, it was a nice shade of green. I liked it, it just needed to be redone. But as I was painting the blue over it, it just looked brown. Ugly, eh, brown, because the blue is so bright in comparison. Yay! I am, however, running out of paint. I'm running out of paint. So I'm gonna go shower now and lay on the couch for the rest of the night. Okay, bud. I need to get up now. I love you when you're so stinky. After looking into it a bit, I actually think these are areas where some wallpaper glue wasn't properly removed, which would also explain why there was only one coat of paint in a 50 plus year old room. I sanded it down as much as I could handle, primed it, and then painted over it, and we shall cross our fingers for better results. And then twas time for that second coat on first the ceiling and then the entire room, and um, Let's just gloss over that, shall we? Been there, done that, twice now. Such fun, my hands hurt, wee. Okay, it's time to test cloud theory. Finally. Welcome to outside. I'm gonna try to not feel awkward about the fact that people could possibly be listening to me right now. So we took these doors off of the closet in my office and I figured perfect place to test things out. So I put a couple coats of the blue on it this morning. Yeah, it's dry. There's some really good shots at the beginning of Jolly Holiday of the clouds, and they really do just look like they've been drawn with chalk, which took me like the, the tiny, tiniest of seconds to be like, that's because they're in a chalk painting. But yeah, it's, it's all white, it's very flat. It should be simple enough to do. I even got like chalky finish white paint to see if that'll look more like it. Is there a bug on my glasses? Nope, just paint. And I figured maybe if I use some sort of sponge, it might be easiest. So this is a uh, stripping pad, sexy. Which I thought might be nice because it's really stiff and very holy. So it's not like gonna just give me a flat thing. It should have lots of texture, theoretically. All right, let's do a dip and a shake and a splat. <laughs> okay, that did like nothing. Uh, not looking cloud-like. What if I smear? Um, so my other thought was maybe I should just paint out sort of the basic cloud shape first. There's my cloud. And then go back with this and like dot out the sides. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise with the door. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. So I could also just try using a different kind of sponge. I have a terry cloth one, which I think will be too solid. Ah. Huh. Ooh. That's way better. Okay, I am pretty happy with that. I think if I do one layer of the white and then come back and do a second layer, but not on the entire thing, so there's some parts that are more translucent than others, I think that'll work. Shall we try it? I'm a little bit scared. Oh, Lordy. Y'all, just gonna have to go for it because this could be bad. Oh my god, my neck. Told you I'm a messy painter. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Like, why is there such a big gap right here? But also, if I filled that in, there'd be too much. The randomness of it all is a tough one for me. Random shapes, random placement. Ultimately, I think it's fine. I think I like it. And I think I just need to be 
okay for now and um, clean up. It's cute, I like it, I do like it. I'm pretty sure I like it. I like it. Last few touches in this room is like putting the outlets back on, the AC register, and then I have a themed light to go in my center light spot that has been empty for the last four, five, six months. But I'm gonna wait for Matt to come home for all of that because electrical stuff still scares me. The next morning I popped in to see if I hated it and was delighted to find that I actually love it even more. In a bout of exceptional timing, Matt had a rare day at home, so I immediately put him to work changing all the yucky old outlets while I screwed a bunch of sunbeams into a wooden ring. What fun. Are you doing it there too? Doing what? Oh, you're not doing the power? No, you're doing the power. I'm oh. scared of the power. I am screwing a bunch of things on a sun lamp. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Did mommy scare you? Hello? And with the sun in the sky at last, and one final round of death to all vacuums, could it be, are we finally actually done with chunk number one? Well, y'all, ooh, it's echoey in here again. It doesn't turn on. Ugh, I really like it. I think it's super cute. We don't know why it's not turning on. It might be that, you know, it's a cheap product or it might just be that we hooked it up wrong. It took us a while to get that up there, so I'm not gonna worry about it for now, but eventually when it lights up, it'll be perfect. Honestly, y'all, I am so pleased with this. If I get Picky, yes, I don't love the exact placement of all of the clouds, and I don't love that this one is way darker, I guess, or just more filled in. It looks way better on the other ones. So if I get picky, it's not perfect, but that's how everything is for me, right? This project became so much more than I expected it to be. So much so that I'm not finishing it right now. I can't move everything back in here. That was my original plan was paint it, put up your cute lamp, move everything back in. I can't really move everything back in until I do all the baseboards and the trim. So all of this is a brand new chunk of the studio project that I did not previously know existed. Yay! I gotta go buy a saw, so that's gonna be fun. And I've gotta do it pretty soon. I can't wait like a month before getting to this because I'd like to move back into my studio so I can, you know, so, but thank you for joining me on what was the first of many, many home renovations to come. This is new for me. It's new for the channel. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, don't worry. Sewing content is coming back soon as soon as I can get to my sewing machine. Yay! Blah! Cool. No. None. No. Okay. Ugh, there's a very big bee. Can't do it. Slippery skull. Get out of here. Oh Lord, my butt. Can you not stick your butt on the microphone? No one wants to hear your butt.